There's a different method of talking about coins. You know, you could, you can imagine somebody spinning a coin on its edge and see, seeing does it come up heads or tails. And if you're me, you could ask, well, you know, what are the odds? If a coin is spun on its edge, what are the odds it comes up heads or tails? Now, there's a right answer to that question. You don't know, because you don't know. <laughs> Magicians have coins which are slightly shaved uh, and uh, you can't feel it, you can't see it, but the coin always comes up tails when it's spun on its edge. Um, it has to do in a very delicate way where the center of gravity of the coin is. Determining that is a completely different physics task, math task. We have done it experimentally. It's not so easy to do the math of it. Uh, and experimentally, uh, coins are quite biased. And that's an easy experiment to do. You can get a class of kids, and I've done it with a class of 100 students. A given coin has its own bias when spun on the edge, but that bias fluctuates from coin to coin. And there, it's easy to find coins which are 80% tails. It just a slightly, you know, beveled. Pennies and nickels, coin, American coins, which have unbeveled edges, this coin has a, a serrated edge. Coins which have unserrated edges tend to be more biased. And it, so that, you know, if you just happen to have one in your pocket, well, you know, who pays for the drinks, right, or whatever. I'm going to combine those two ideas. If I asked you before this interview, um, which do you think is fairer, a coin caught in the hand or a coin allowed to drop onto the table. We can do that a few times so you can, you know, catch it, try to catch it. You know, a coin allowed to do that. Well, first of all, most people have asked which is fairer, just think, this guy's nuts, that question doesn't make sense. You know, they're both kind of pretty fair. But if pressed, people when pushed seem to think that a coin dropping on the floor is fairer. And I'd like to suggest that when, why the people guess that, that when somebody catches a coin in their hand, there's a hand there. And it might be that you can adjust your hand or do something. Let's rule that out, okay? You're just flipping coins for yourself. You're not trying to cheat anybody. If you flip a coin this way, or if you flip a coin and let it land on the floor, does it make any sense to talk about as one fairer than the other? But when a coin hits the ground, because I watch them, and if you had your camera, we could watch them together. Before it dies, often it spins around on its edge before dying. And some of that edge bias comes in. And uh, so there's a real sense in which coins landing on the floor are less fair than coins caught in the air. So there's something to think about fast it was traveling, you know, say in feet per second. And if you knew how many times a second it was turning over, Newton tells you, if you know the speed, how long it takes to come down, and if you know how fast it's turning, you know whether it'll come up heads or tails.